Hey, what's up guys? It's Emmy from the Easy Reviews here. And so recently we've seen the unveiling of both the Samsung Gear S and the LG G Watch R. And here I have a video comparing both of these smartwatches. So firstly, let's just note here that the Samsung can actually be used without having a host phone because it has its own SIM card port and so it has its own 3G connectivity and so it can act as a standalone watch itself. The LG watch however requires a Bluetooth connection with the donor phone and so and this can also be done with the Samsung as well. The shape of the Samsung uh, is sort of like a curved rectangle shape which is made to fit like well around your wrist basically. The LG uh, will be against like the Moto 360 as it's a circle shaped watch which gives uh, us as consumers we might like it a lot more because it looks more discreet and looks more like a normal watch so personally I, I like the design better than the Samsung. Uh, however if you want a bigger screen the Samsung is the place to go because it has a 2 inch screen compared to the LG's 1.3 inch. The Samsung also has a higher pixel density with a resolution of 360 by 480 making the PPI 300 and the LG has a resolution of 320 by 320 making it have a 246 PPI. The Samsung uh, watch also has a Super AMO LED uh, display and usually Samsung are the best at creating these type of screens so we're guessing this one might be a bit better than the LG. Uh, the LG also has a plastic OLED display and we can't really say which one's better because they're not being out yet however let's just hope that maybe one of these watches can fix the current problem with viewing in sunlight from the existing watches that are out so far. So when we compare both the battery lives of these watches we can't really say uh, exactly because they're not out yet but uh, because there's so many like different factors such as processors, different softwares and screen sizes we can't uh, estimate this correctly. But um, just to let you know the the capacity of each battery, the Samsung has a 300 milliamp hour battery, the LG has a 410 milliamp hour battery. And by judging uh, by the Samsung having a bigger screen and also having 3G, uh, which can also drain a lot of battery, I'm guessing that the LG does have a better battery life than the Samsung. So the Samsung runs its own Tizen OS, which is an open source software but probably doesn't compare to the LG's Android Watch OS because Android has been developed thoroughly throughout and it's probably a bigger name than the, than the Samsung rival. So uh, both of these watches are fitted with health trackers and are water and dust resistant. The Samsung is also available in black and white however the LG is only available in black. They both have 4 gig storage and 512 RAM. Uh, the processor in the LG however is supposedly going to be a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor. We don't know whether quad core or dual core. And the Samsung is supposedly going to have a 1 gigahertz dual core processor. So we expect the Samsung to cost a little bit more than the, the uh, LG because it's got the capability to run without a host phone and uh, it also has 3G connectivity. So overall we're thinking between 150 to 250 pounds in the UK. So between 200 and 300 dollars. Uh, so we're guessing the Samsung is going to cost a bit more than the LG but we won't know until around October time 2014 that's when the Samsung will be out. So there you go guys that's the comparison between the LG G Watch R and the Samsung Gear S. If you like the video please like, comment and subscribe.